It's where the magic happens. If you remember last week, we weren't even working on the van. No, we took last week off and we headed to the mountains of North Carolina for my birthday week. Did you have a good birthday? I did. I had a great birthday. Good. I saw lots of waterfalls. But this week, <laughs> back to work. Yeah, so we are, this week the plan is to try to get the frame built for our bed. So that's what we are doing. It's where the magic happens. <laughs> there's no magic. I don't know if there's any magic in the bed, but we're building a bed frame. All right, so we've gone ahead and started to build our platform bed. So this is going to be a platform bed with a garage below. We need to have enough space to be able to bring our two e-bikes with us. Ideally, we would have loved to have done just a floating platform bed, and I've seen a lot of people do that. We just didn't feel like our walls could support it because we have to be 33 inches at the base of our bed. So we feel, and that's about here, if you can see it. And there's just no structural support behind. I mean, we have these, but we just feel like it's a little flimsy and we didn't want to put all that weight and not have anything in the middle. So we are building a frame for the bed, basically. And then we're going to put some slats across. across. So this is the front frame. We're actually, you'll see in a little bit, but it's kind of attached to the floor, but we haven't attached it to the walls yet. But it's pretty sturdy. I think it'll hold us. Maybe. Fingers crossed. If you know how much I love, love, love pocket holes, um, we're using two by threes for our bed frame. Help save a little weight. Two by fours is a little bulky. Um, they are a little stronger, but um, we think these will do just fine. But I got the pocket hole Craig HD jig. HD stands for high definition. So this sucker will put holes in 4K. I don't know really. So it's basically for two by fours and bigger wood. I think it means heavy duty. I'm pretty sure it's high definition. <laughs> While building the frame, we were kind of uh, thinking about what would make the bed the strongest. We're basically building a giant box. So here is our beautiful rectangle. It's going to attach to the front wall and there's going to be slats going across between these two frames. That makes sense. All right, so we have our nice little framework here. Um, the two by threes that are pocket holed into the top and bottom here. Um, the bottom is screwed into the floor with uh, some nice beefy two and a half inch screws. Um, so, and these actually connect to the, our front portion, which is eventually gonna become a wall. But um, these front portions are also L bracketed into the wall. Now, we also got our cross beam in the back here, L bracketed to the wall. So we really have kind of side to side stability so that as we're going down the road, hopefully this thing doesn't shake apart and we don't fall out of bed. The bed frame is finally done. The um, topper is what's gonna come next, which is gonna hold our mattress. Uh, we decided not to do slats across just because the mattress that we're looking at, I mean, it's not like your standard bed mattress, so these giant gaps, I guess we could have put more slats across, but we wanted something that was really supportive. And plus, um, we're going to be using half inch Baltic, but Baltic birch plywood, say that three times fast. And um, that's going to help give more stability and more strength to the structure. So we have our two pieces cut for the top of our platform bed and we are now going to drill some holes in it. So you always have we're to worry. Do what? We're going to put holes in it. Why are we putting uh, holes in uh, it? Condensation and moisture. So uh, 
in a small space with a lot of heavy breathing. <sighs> it is the bed. Yeah, it is. The bed. <laughs> um, you get a buildup of condensation and moisture pretty easily. Um, even in our bigger RV, we got a lot of buildup. So we are going to put some holes in the um, platform wood so that hopefully that will give it a little bit more airflow and kind of prevent that buildup of moisture and stuff. So yeah, holes. So we are sitting on our nice sturdy platform bed. Both of us, it holds us and it didn't even collapse. We're still minus a seven pound cat. Yeah, and you know, a mattress, but I think it's gonna work. Yeah, so you can see that we have the ventilation holes in so that hopefully those will work. I mean, if we need more later, we can always yeah. add more. Plus, I mean, for those of you who are worried about monsters under the bed, these are not big enough for the monsters to actually get you. And besides, if you have your entire body under the blanket, the monsters won't get you, it's science. Monster facts. Yeah. Don't worry about the monsters, just cover all your toes. If you leave a toe out, they, I mean, oh, they, they love to munch on toes. Yeah, and yeah. then like your entire body's fair game, even yeah. if you leave a little mm -hmm. toe out. Yeah, you're done if you leave a toe out. So, well, anyway, <laughs> we hope you found this video useful or at least kind of informative of how we did our bed. I know there's a million different ways out there that people do their beds for their van builds, but um, yeah, we think it's going to work out really well. We're happy with it. Yeah, we really, so with this design, we were really looking forward to maximizing our garage space for our e-bikes oh yeah there's plenty of room we were, were able to fit both of them in there you know they fit pretty snug but they fit and then we have our whole um passenger side for our water system that we'll be doing later and then the right side is where we're starting to build our electrical system so yeah, it all fits that's important anyway if you found this video useful enjoyable whatever hit that like button don't forget to subscribe we'll be doing more stuff promise all right, guys, that looks like it's going to do it for this video. And until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.